The number one cause of kidney failure in the United States is diabetes. There are two types of diabetes. Diabetes type 1, which is related to an autoimmune disease, and then diabetes type 2, which is related to our lifestyle choices and diet. When there are spikes of glucose in the blood, that glucose can clog some capillaries. And I will show you how this works with the kidneys. So for this part, we're going to the board. On the board, I drew a nephron, which is the kidney cell. The kidney cell is divided in two parts, the glomerulus, which is this part here, and a set of tubes called tubules. So let's talk about the glomerulus. The glomerulus is also divided in two, and it has a capsule, which is called the Bowman's capsule, and also it has a ball of capillaries. The wall that surrounds the capsule is a semi-permeable wall. What that means is that it has small holes that will allow the fluid in small solutes or small electrolytes pass through, and the big cells will not be able to pass through that wall. Big cells like protein is a big cell. Red blood cells are big cells. Um, bacteria are big cells, for example. So those are cells that will not be able to pass through this wall and they will continue in the circulation. So inside of this capsule, there is pressure and it goes with the blood pressure. So that pressure, what it does is that is squeeze on the capillaries and fluid starts to filter. It starts to filter fluid and electrolytes. So let's imagine that some of that fluid and electrolyte passes through here into the tubules. When in the tubules, there is going to be a, an absorption and a reabsorption process where the body will tell the cell, wait a minute, do not take all that fluid, I need to reabsorb. Or, wait a minute, do not take all that sodium, I need to reabsorb. And at the end, before it leaves the cell, there's only just 1% here that is actually excreted from this filtration that happened here. So now let's talk about how is it that diabetes affects our nephron or the kidney cells. In this case is when the blood sugar is out of control. It doesn't mean that everyone that has diabetes is going to have kidney failure. It's more so when people don't have control of the blood sugar. So when there are spikes of blood sugar or glucose, there is going to be an accumulation of this sugar that will clog these tiny capillaries. So now we have to think that this is a cell that you cannot see at plain sight. You actually can see this under a microscope. You cannot see it at plain sight. So this is a tiny, tiny, tiny cell. Therefore, this capillary is a tiny, tiny, tiny capillary. So when the blood sugar spikes, it clogs these capillaries. So this is very difficult to unclog. And eventually there is no nutrition that is being carried to, into this cell. And this is how the person loses nephrons, one after another, one after another. So it is recommended that a person with diabetes keeps their blood sugar in check. This would be the best thing they can do if they want to avoid kidney failure. So this is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and that you learned a lot. I'll see you in the next video. So in the meantime, remember to subscribe and click that notification button so that you can get an alert every time I upload a video. If you have any questions or comments, please write them below. I can't promise I'm going to answer everything, but I will be looking and searching for a good question that I can answer in a video. So don't miss the series. And if you haven't seen the first few videos, go back and watch those. I'll see you in the next video.